G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zhubudl and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Millionaire where we're trying to get a million dollars as quickly as possible and we're coming in to day 17. The sun is about to rise and I've just been hanging out in my attic for a little while while the sky turns all sorts of wonderful colours but no time for hanging about this morning because there are lots of things that I need to do. Firstly, grab all of you out of my workbenches because now you've all crafted up you're ready to get sold today isn't the day i'll go and sell a bunch of stuff to tradies though we're just doing some legwork to try and amass some more wealth but those mods are the be all and end all of everything that i wanted to do everyone needs a pump shotgun that's purple and amazing and now i have that in my hot little hands which means i can get out there and do that quest just next to tradies just down there nice and early the sun's not even up and i'm already starting my day this is a real foreign concept for me but i'm here i'm ready to go ready to murder some zombies ready to make some money the sun is about to rise let's all I want to have a quick little squeeze. I wasn't going to do it, but I'm kind of curious what's actually going to be down here. A cheeky little uh, look around of just what is available to me in the garage down here. Arlene didn't hear a peep. Spat at a new boyfriend's face all against the wall and she barely even rustled. Didn't even roll over. Just got more snug and stole more of the blanket because that's the kind of that's the kind of zombie Arlene is. Doesn't care if you leave and just steals your half of the blanket instead. Give me you. Steal tool parts. That's fine for me. How did... So Arlene was three inches away from a pretty serious shotgun blast. There's something back there. I... Spider Boy upstairs was just calling me over because there's definitely something secret behind that wall. I didn't know that. Look at that. Look at Spider Boy looking out for me for a change. All right, well, that's fine. I'll quickly murder you. I want to know what's back there. So the walls here are pretty strong, and I can't, like, reach through to break the wood and see what's going on back there. So instead, whereabouts was this? About here. Let's just take the... Oh, that's actually way easier to get into. Oh, there's, like, a crack in the wall. How have I been through this POI so many times and never knew... There was a secret back here. Are you like a hidden stash? Surely you are. If there was ever a hidden stash, it was this one. Hidden stash, grab you. Did you guys know about this? Am I the, am I the only one that's been out of the circle on this one? Everyone else has been laughing at me all this time because I haven't been grabbing the gubs out of here because that's a good get. I had no idea. I had absolutely no idea there was something secret back here. That is a good time for me. Well, now I know about it. I can reset you. Go like that and do it all over again. It didn't even put the block back. All right, that's way easier. Don't mind me there. Just cruising on through, grabbing all your secret gubs. Oh, and this time around, it gave me a cripple mod schematic and learn how to craft cigars. Well, I already have a cigar. <gasps> that was the fanfare. Are you shitting me? Is that an entire book series done? Seven out of seven on Urban Cop. Silences do no penalty damage. Oh, <laughs> me jibs, me jibs are tingling and fizzing and bouncing all over the fucking place. That may be the earliest I've ever got through a series. Look at it. Half of them were ones and twos, but I got a seven. Oh, that was an unexpected fanfare and I am having a time. I need to get rid of you. All because of the hidden stash. The most hidden of stashes that I never knew about gave me a fanfare. Oh, I'm just having a time. So that's the little hint block there. So you've got the ones outside and that one there. And even so, like, that's really well hidden. I, yeah, I had no idea. But at least now I know for next time around, I'll scrap you for the paint and take the nails. Oh, a working... Wow. Where were you... All for the first like three weeks or two weeks even of this series a working workbench six inches away from my house rude rude to give it to me now just as like a tease of what could have been just the seven days way nothing in you uh scrap you don't need the feather though always check the car as well i'm in a good mood now we're off to a flyer speaking of hidden stashes i'm pretty sure this one 
like back through here. Yeah, there we go. It's like the, the working assist box you see when you first come in. So that's probably why I don't see the other one, because this one always catches my attention, because it's slightly more obvious being all lit up and directly in front of you when you walk in the door. Loot and specs are on, working stiffs, iron shovel. I mean, I know it's not as good as my current stone shovel. We've been through this before. You're worth a little bit of coin though. So I might take both you guys. I'll scrap you later if I run out of options, but we're okay for the moment. Keep on pushing through. Keep the shotgun out. It's now housing 12 rounds in it. Purely because I definitely feel like there are more spider zombies here than there used to be. I've already fought like four of them down in the basement. So it's getting a little heckers around here. But the shotgun's just as hectic. Doesn't even give a shit. Look at that. Cleared the entire floor in about four seconds. God, I love the pump. Look at you, ScoMo. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be feeling the same way if I was on the other end of this purple rod of Doomsday. Got another book, but at this point that I've already read, so I'll take you to sell to Trady if I get the opportunity to later. Use the shovel to open up the paintings because it's the easiest thing to repair. 50 bucks in you. 50 bucks, little man, put that shit in my hand. Well, I suppose I got it from a purse rather than a miner, but whatever. We'll we keep moving on through. XP goes back on. Upstairs we go. Doggy. Nope, you good? You good, bud? You're less good. Ah, there we go. Why don't even bother with the bow? Shotguns for everyone. Oh, I remember this room. This is the room where all the zombies die to their own landmine, and I kind of want the extra experience. So if I can, let's get as stealthy as possible and see if we can pop some noggers before they all wake up. Arlene, hanging out in there like so you were fooling around with someone and their partner came home and you were hidden very quickly. Fuck! In the, uh, in the cupboard. That's, oh god, don't look down there, Josh. That is a side that will melt your according as well, like you've looked at the Ark of the Covenants. That's the first feral that we've seen. Uh, okay, so we've reached another part of the game. See, so look at you, just like licking a bloody landmine. Well, I'll do that to try and open up the rest of this to try and s steal some XP for myself. That was definitely a headshot game. Can you just fucking give it to me, please? There you go. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, lucky. Lucky. Still didn't die from a shotgun to the face. All right. I had my fun. Wow! What is going on over here? All these clowns are copping shotguns to the chin. Fuck. Arlene, please. And landmines to the knees. And still crusading uh, around like a freaking adventurer. Nah, I ain't about it. That's a lot of carnage. None of them died as easily as I was hoping. That's not good for me. Oh, I got excited for a second there. It's grandpa's moonshine recipe as opposed to the awesome sauce, but even so, still a grandpa's thing, so we're on the way. Painkillers. I am actually kind of hurt from going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a couple of zombies rather unnecessarily, which maybe wasn't particularly smart of me, but it's the choice that I made, and now I have to just lie in that bed. Uh, murky waters. Take those with me soon. Empty glass jars. We're still taking those. Bookcase. Sell you and sell you. I am now cucumber though with the next thing I find. Black dye, that's on theme, so I'll quickly grab that in there as well. Cowboy boots are worth a bit too. Oh, who would have guessed? Arlene was shacked up in a cupboard, sniffing the boots of a former boyfriend. <laughs> Such an Arlene move. That does, though, leave no one up here to defend against me going through and taking everything that's worth up here. What we got? Working stiff tools, ammo box, and a reinforced chest. And it's all done before 9 a.m. as well. This was given to me by Trader Joel, so I have to go back up north to hand in the quest. It's a bit annoying. Bit of ammo out of you. Quickly pop open this one. For nothing inside. What a bloody dick tease that one is. Check you. Give me something good. Steel shovel. Wait, I had like a T3 steel shovel, didn't I? And I decided it wasn't particularly worth it. Which may not have been particularly smart, but it is what it is. I will, though. Now, I can scrap you for steel tool parts, yeah? Scrap? Yeah, I can. I'll scrap you. I was going to use a repair kit, but instead, I think I'll repair... Hmm... You're both worth exactly the same, weirdly. So, I think the shovel's going to be worth more. I'll just repair that one and see what you come out as. In the meantime, check in the reinforced chests. Or another baseball bat. Scrap you for the iron... You're worth a hundred bucks, I'll take you with me. Scrap you, take that. 
All right, I think we're done here. Nice and done. We'll head back to the bike and drop everything back off at home. That was a good raid. I'm still stoked about this, though. How have I never known about that? I've dropped off all my gubs at home. Let's have a quick little uh, chat to Bob and see if he has something good for me. Uh, you don't have anything in your vendor. don't have any money on me anyway. It's kind of redundant. Are you offering me anything fun? You got a tier three fetch finally actually in my town. That's a uh, change of pace for you. Business old. Oh, is this going to be a freaking doggos or the bear den again? Are those the only tier threes you have access to in here? I'm pretty sure there's a lot more around if you would just send me somewhere better. What I should probably do though, if I'm this desperate to find uh, some bellows, I should probably go and raid some working stiffs instead there might be one in town maybe we should go and have a chat to you you're not too far away i do have a fair bit of fuel in my motorcycle maybe that's the right call instead of just doing quests i might go have a bit of an explore if i can find a working stiff somewhere i'll go and raid that because i'm just not having much luck i'm not having much luck with the current layout of what i'm doing I thought there was a working stiffs in here somewhere, like a proper retail shop, so I'll go and find one of those instead. If I can't find that, I'll head down and get the other trader unlocked. Just to try and move the game along a little bit. I just need those bellows. That's the only thing I'm missing right now. It's the only thing I'm pining for. They aren't exactly working stiffs, but they should. I mean, I've already raided the first one, I'm pretty sure. That one there has already been done. That was part of a quest, but this one, I don't think I've gone through yet. So I'll just have a little uh, sticky beak through this joint and see if I can find anything fun. You've got nothing in your vendor either. Yeah, no, I haven't been through here before. All right, well, let's make quick work of this. Don't bother getting up for me, bud. Anyone hanging out in the garage? Or is this the one that's got... No, it hasn't. I thought it was the one that had the bunker at the back. It's not, but that's okay. Sit you down. Sit you down. Death will don't get back up again. God, my loadout at the moment. Occasionally in seven days, you start to feel like you're powerful enough to take whatever the game throws at you. And I've finally hit that point in this playthrough where anything that comes my way, I can just decimate. Got an anvil schematic. Uh, I haven't really had to make those, I suppose. I need to buy one, but I've got enough anvils for now. So I suppose the $200 is probably more worth it to me. Although I wonder what... I wonder how much an anvil is actually worth to sell, but it takes a lot more <laughs> um, resources to make an anvil. It's not really something I want to do lightly. That pipe just scared the shit out of me. I thought that was a biker inside me. Oh, <sighs> panic there for a second, puck it there for a second, but we're all right. Coming through the other side. Bellows! Fucking bellows! Thank you. God for that. And now I can actually see how much uh, an anvil is actually worth. Only $60 redos. My quest has come to an end. I finally like prior uh, prioritized it and went out of my way to try and find them. And sure as shit, we fucking found them. And a hammer as well. Oh, I'm stoked. Thank God. I just, it's more of a sense of overwhelming relief more than anything else. Oh, I've just been looking for you for so long. Have a little look at what's on the roof as well. Ammo. Oh. Oh, just like, put it on both sides of me cheek and just stroke me with it. Triple storage pocket mod. The dream that every survivor has. Stuff and more shits in me shits. Oh, it's good. It's good. So everything now, I think, has pockets. Yeah, you've got a single one. You see the next one to get upgraded. You don't have one in you, though. But I really only need a couple more pocket mods and I'll have full carrying capacity, so... Thank you very bloody much. What a time. What a looting time. Couple of things out of you. Grab an esky with a spud and some yucca. And last but not least, cheeky car parts. Tier 4 iron shove. I mean, you're not going to be better than this one, but I'll check it anyway. 60. Yeah, look, my stone shovel is still kicking the dick out of all of the iron gubs. Just not worthwhile. I did see someone saying that, like, apparently the iron tools do have, like, a, uh, a damage buff against certain materials, but I just don't think it's worthwhile. If the bloody, what was it, the tier 3 steel shovel isn't going to one-hit blocks when, so, like, two hits to break down a block where it's the same with the stone shovel, no point in me changing over. We're bloody fine. Just going to stop off real quick at home. Now that I have the bellows, I'm going to chuck in one of the forges and turn it on and get a whole bunch of stuff smelted into it. Because I think the bellows gives me, like, double speed smelting, right? I can have it because that's got all the other stuff in you. What do you give me? Forge smelting feed plus 50%. So, not quite double speed, but 
plus 50%. Um, so I'm going to want to... How much can I make out of you? Like, uh, 38. Okay, that works for me. Have a bit more fuel. You need 6 minutes 20. Have all of that. And just smelt the rest of you into them. Turn you on. Chuck the rest of this stuff away. And I'm going to go, yeah. I'm going to go down and try and find that other trader. Just open up a bit more of the world to myself. If I find some more working stiffs places, I am still going to raid it. Because I need, like, what, two more bellowses. And I can't make them for myself. So I may as well go find them. Ooh. This is good though. I started out with a checklist of things I wanted to do and we've already ticked off one of them. It's always kind of like weirdly nostalgic to drive past like your starting block where you first started the series or the playthrough when you find like the bedroll and the block and the campfire when you first ticking off your opening quests. It's always like, always gives me a weird little pang of nostalgia for it. I do wish though, I wish there was a way that I could say that like I've played seven days before, I don't need the opening tutorial. Just give me the the skill points to save the hassle of trying to find the stones and the eggs and stuff which i suppose is why it's still a thing like forcing you to potentially get unlucky and not find the birds there's some small stones which i have a problem with but i don't know i really would like just a button to say like i've done this before it's okay i'll take my life with my own hands just give me the resulting skill points and let me make mistakes oh there's a carl's court or bob's boars down here as well I'm just kind of on the open road. Oh, don't drive off it, please. Just like driving around trying to find where this other trader is. I've already gone past. Maybe I should have taken one of these dirt roads. There's a whole like mountain range next to me. And usually traders are in a town and these flyways lead to towns. So that's kind of... Oh, there's the right turn there, actually. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of the theory I was working from. I didn't want to go careening off down some dirt path, get stuck in a valley somewhere with no way to get out again, and have to pick up my motorcycle, run my spaghetti legs over a hilltop. Clearly not a man who runs or goes up hills. Not really my cup of tea. But we'll head out there, see what's going on. Come on, big working stiff cluster. Give me a couple different places to raid. I need all of the tools. We've got a paper mill over there. What else have we got around? Got some grain. Uh, around a little car lots. I think that's a, a dump along there too. So, oh, ooh, and a farm. Ooh, it's a silo farm that has the hidden stash in it. I remember those. But where's the bloody trade routes? It's just down here. I think they said it was a bob, didn't it? I think that's the one. Another creamery, another house full of bad memories. I might raid that place before I go. Some pretty decent loot in them. Plus, I got the hidden stash in the silo as well, so I might get lucky on it. Nothing else really around catching my attention except for Bobby Boy. Ooh. You are right next to the burn biome though, so I'll keep that in mind for later. Check your vendor. I don't have any money on me right now, but we might have to come and get an eye candy if I can afford to later on. Always good to have extra looting bonuses when you can. Bob, how bloody are ya? XP gogs on. Have a chat, have a chinwag, 550 XP. And no jobs nearby. What is it with you, Bob? You never send me anywhere nearby. Come on, Keanu, get it together. Oh, so he's got an auger. It's four grand and it's only a tier two. But an auger's gonna make like digging up iron and stuff so much easier. Um, an auger's an auger kind of thing. Like the actual like quality of it just dictates the amount of mods and like the size of the gas tank and stuff like that. But like even a tier two auger is gonna be a whole lot better than a tier three iron pickaxe. That's actually very tempting. Only four thousand dollars as well. But if I start eating some candy and getting some discounts, I might be better off again. Uh, an AK oil shale. I'm really hoping you might make my dreams come true and get what I'm actually after. 44 truck, 42. Ugh, that's too much. Plus, the truck is basically worth I'd rather go with the motorcycle anyway. Uh, not a lot in there. I will check a secret stash, though. Auto shotgun, fireman's almanac. 10% more damage to coal and burnt wood. A crucible. Another nail gun. Oh, and a steel pickaxe, though. That's actually pretty tempting. $3,000 for a steel pickaxe. Just to have steel tools is always kind of the goal. And a bunch of books I haven't read. Sniper Volume 3. Headshots have a greater chance to stun and dismember. Lucky Looter. Far more lead. Like, even so, they're books that I haven't read, which are always tempting. But you still don't have... You passed it. You still don't have... <gasps> you gotta learn Elixir Recipe, though. Oh, I need money. I should have brought my money with me. 
I need money to buy this stuff real fast. Although, he restocks in like two days, so I think I had time to go get some. While I'm here, it would be rude not to break into his gun safe and steal all his shit. I mean, it's probably rude to do that, but definitely not rude to me. Can you give me the zeros, please? I'm burning lockpicks like I'm snapping spaghetti. Come on, eight left. Get me in there. I just want to fondle your gums, buddy. I just want to see what you got packing down over there. I want to open you up and see what's going on. <laughs> oh, come on. I fucking hate the lockpicky shit in this. Give me like a Skyrim method of like jingling and jangling shit around so I actually feel like I have an input. Not just pressing a button and hoping. Finally, we got in. Burned most of our lockpicks though. Ah, it was worth it. Double storage pockets. You can go on to... Where were you? Who had the single? One of you guys still had a single. That one there. Get rid of you. In you go. Edging ever closer to having all of our storage capacity. Nice. What else you got for me? Because I need like $10,000. Pretty quick smart. Oh my god. Another bellows in Trady's Forge. Thank you very much. So we've got one more to find now. I've been pining for it for so long. I don't even know how to react when I find them. I'm just like beyond belief. Just staggered. Stoked. I'm all fizzy. Give me that one. I'll raid all his compound as well and see what else is around in case it's something more worthwhile. He's looking after me though. He may not have the stuff to sell me. Well, that I was particularly hoping for. He's got other stuff to buy though. I don't know. This might be the better trader Bob. Maybe this is the one who's actually competent at his job. Oh, he's got Sniper Volume 3 up in his filing cabinet as well, which is one of the ones I wanted to buy from him. So he's just lucked out from taking about $1,000 off me because I found the book for free. Someone's out here rattling and clankering around and causing all sorts of issues. Go away, Chelsea. Um, so it's reasonably late. One of those roads might actually lead him. Might be a shortcut I can take rather than going around the whole bloody U-Bend. Um, I can come back tomorrow and buy stuff from him. That, that will be fine with me. Should I then take a job from him back up in my regular town? If I'm going back up there anyway to get all my money, how can I make this work price. for me the most? Um, uh, that one, maybe, might be in the town I want to go to. That one there. I'm in Business trouble. old three. God is that going to be the... You. Is that going to be the bloody bear dead again? It's the bloody bear dead again. Can you bloody stop with that shit? There are plenty of other POIs. Take your goddamn pick. I've done the loop around town and there is no working stiffs out here. There is a, um, a passing gas. That's the passing gas that has the bunker at the pack that I was talking about before. I know that you have a weapons bag and a secret stash. So I could just pop on over here and grab that. And then I think I'll raid the barn because I said I was going to down there and then get uh, to skedaddle and go back home. Don't think I need to hang out here any more than that. Nothing super pressing for me. There's some Bernie boys around, so I'll deal with them first. Or not. All right, it's completely empty. I was expecting just a little bit of resistance, but I guess not today. Take a couple of bits of extra gas. There's lots of concrete around for later, should I need it. I'm really only here for loot. I can't believe I found an extra set of bellows. So good. So I've gone from no bellows to two bellows in one bloody day. The extra one now is just kind of because I want one, not that I specifically need it right now. Another dubsy, which I can sell for a lot of money, actually. Two times scope mod, which I can't put on anything right now, but I'll save for later. Scrap you. Check your esky for some mineral water. Don't mind if I do. Nice, let's get that hidden stash and get over to the barn nice and quickly. Time is slowly ticking away. I can see, it's kind of hard to see at the top of the screen there, just below the compass. There is a dirt road out there, which looks like it probably matches up with that one. So I think I have, I think there is genuinely a shortcut in and out of this place. Rather than going the whole way around, which makes my life so much easier to deal with. Not having to go like the whole long way around the highway, definitely a good thing. Still wasn't worth the gamble at the very top. Like, I would have got stuck somewhere. At least I had a good chance getting stuck somewhere. So, I think that was the right call. Uh, quickly give my empty hand so I can grab a couple of these while I'm here as well. I'm going to get all the extra bonuses from living off the land. May as well take advantage of it. I feel like it's been a little while since I raided a silo barn. Like, I haven't forgotten what it's like in here, but I definitely haven't been in here for a little while. I thought there were snakes everywhere through here. But there doesn't seem to really be any. Oh, there's one. <laughs> Speaking of snakes, there's two over here. Arlene playing with her favorite noodle. Put you down. Let's finish you off. Finish you off too. 
This feels easier than it used to be. There definitely used to be more zombies on this first floor. Have they nerfed the um the the barn? I feel like this used to be more challenging. We're moving through relatively quickly, right through the top of your head, up and oh god, hang on. Sorry. <laughs> Don't mind me just quickly raiding all of your possessions while I'm teabagging your forehead. I took you for a ride like I was freaking Jezelenko, and you barely even looked up for it. Well, I feel a little guilty. That's just kind of adding insult to injury, which I didn't really need to do. Missed his head. I landed the cowboy hanging out in the lofts. Some things are just poetic, you know? Some things are clearly meant to be. Bonds are mate level 30. That skill point needs to go. I got better barded last time, didn't I? But no, I got I got a minor no a sex T Rex last time. Minor sixty nine is the one I want this time. Then I can start working on the shotguns and pummel Pete. Just as long as like my resource gathering is up to par, I think that's probably more important. Check that one. Couple of bits of ammo. Check you. First aid bando. Don't need it right now, but I appreciate the gesture. All right, let's open you, which now takes two clean swings. Did I take two swings before? I think it might have. Anyway, whatever. I feel good about it. Scrap you. Take the parts. Gun store box. Steel sledgehammer parts. I can sell you. Some more steel sledgey parts. I'll read you. Throw that away and take the rest of you. Nice. Those are good gets. Can't forget to get the secret stash while I'm here. Try and land in the center of the hay bale. Otherwise, we'll break your ankles because seven days gone seven days. Looting gogs are on. Structural brace mod and military armor parts. Nice. I'm only just got cucumbered as well because of all of my lovely, doubly pockets. Life with pockets is better than anything else. Up, over the top, down to there, and out we go. <laughs> Did you guys finally break through the other side of the POI, only for me to have left just as you got here? I'd almost feel bad if you weren't brain- Oh, sorry about that. Brain dead morons. There you go. There you go. And there you go. Was that worth all that effort? Was that worth all that shambling? I wouldn't think so. Before we go, just gonna have a quick little stop off at the hay bales here, because you're hiding some sort of box underneath you. Just a shamway box. Can't one hit it with a power stroke yet, which is a bit of a shame. Open you up. Don't need a couple of sham sangers. All right, that's the crickets chirping though. Oh, that path goes all the way around. That's very convenient. Uh, okay. Well, that's a weird path for a gravel path to take, but I'm definitely not going to sing any songs about it. If that leads me back to the main road, I'm going to be happy as. I think it should. There's not a whole lot of room for it to maneuver out here without intersecting. Nice. All right. Well, that's a successful little day. Didn't do many quests, but definitely made some progress for myself. Have to come back tomorrow after I've done the Bear Den raid and buy those gubs from Tradey. I'm not sure... If I buy the auger or the steel pickaxe, or both, I could potentially buy both. Because, like, having just a regular steel pickaxe for the most part is a good time, but the auger's better for mining. But it's like, you know, that's a $6,000 expenditure that I should probably not be doing when I'm trying to make a bunch of money. I just don't know which one's the right one. I feel like the auger's the right way to go. I'm just not sure. God, this, this path is taking a path. Where has this road actually left me? Holy shit! It didn't- I thought it was gonna like just pop out over there. I suppose I could have turned right there and gone that way, but it's like it leads me straight to my house. Alright, I couldn't have planned that out any better than it actually has worked out for me. I mean, the wiggly wagglies, the bendies over there are fun to drive, but a little bit annoying on the motorcycle. Especially when you're coming over a blind crest, but that's gone- that's gone spectacularly well. I could not complain about that, even if I tried. But I complain about a lot of things. You can hang out there. I don't think anything's in you. No, just some extra gas. So you can hold on to that for me. Make a couple of frames. Fuck yeah. So tomorrow, I suppose I go down and I really quickly do that, um, the fetch and clear at the bear den. Not worry about the other gubs. Oh, you guys go into that one. I'll sort you out in a second. In fact, I even need to. I need to cancel that one. Like that, so I don't accidentally do the wrong one when I get there. So do that, take my little shortcut down to go see Trader Bob, hand in that quest, buy the auger, I think. I don't know, what do you guys think? Is the steel pickaxe the go, or is the auger the go, or both? Someone tell me what to do, because I'm not entirely sure. Let's go tradey like that, so I know where you are. 
Fuck yeah, that's so good. I've got most of my life in order, I think. Give me the brass and the claim. I think I put the... I did put the bellows into my brass forge. So you can go in like that. You can go in like that. And I can just get you burning away as well. I probably should start thinking about maybe some anti screamer protection given I'm running a couple of forges and things. I'm starting to make enough heat now that that will be a thing for me to keep track of. Just need one more bellows and we're good to go. Don't need a crucible in there and I don't need a crucible here. So that's the last kind of tooling that I'm missing. What else do I need to do? I'm a little bit peckish. So let's grab you and quickly slurp on down some meat stew. And in the meantime, give me meat, give me corn. I'm running out of spuds. Although you're ready to be harvested, so I go like this and cut you down in your prime so I can eat all your children. Like that. Is that enough spuds for... I can make one more, I think. I can make one more meat stew. That's all right. Still, uh, still a good idea to have some food on the go. Yeah, look, if that doesn't call in a screamer, I don't know what will. Two forges at a campfire going, plus a torch. That's definitely going to call in the screams. It's kind of funny, though. Like... The way it's justified is that, like, the flickering light calls in zombies, but if it's all sealed up, I suppose there's some windows down there, you'd think that wouldn't be an issue, but we all know zombies have super senses. So tomorrow, so to go do that, um, that fetch and clear at the bear den, and then take some money with me down to trade you down to the south. All this stuff can be sold later, that's all right, not too much of a hazard there. I should at least have a look at, though. Oh, I should be looking to buy headlights. Headlights are kind of the, the limiting factor on the mini bike handlebars. So I can find more headlights, I can make more mini bike handlebars and sell it for more dosh. So if I can find some more to buy, even like if I just buy headlights from trading to turn it into handlebars to sell, that will still be relatively profitable, I think. I have to double check, but I think that's going to be the case. So I'll keep all you on me and head down to do that job and then what? Then what's the play after that? I've kind of explored the town. There's not much going on, but there is a highway heading out to the west. There's also heading one further, uh, further south as well. So potentially, maybe? I think even, like, as much as I love that the road comes out just here, I think the fastest way will be to go the highway and take that road, just because that's all, like, a bit hilly and a bit hard to drive. So head out to there, go see Trady, do another job for him. There's nothing else really in that town that's getting me excited. There's nothing there that's really tickling my fancy. Hmm, I'm not sure. So I was just kind of curious about what I'm looking at to make a gyro. Gyro accessories are actually relatively cheap. I thought that took a whole bunch of steel, but it's just the chassis that takes a bunch of steel. So if I can buy a chassis for like 12 grand, if I find one, I almost definitely will because that's going to open up a gyro for me. I have most of this stuff already. I'm sure headlights I've been burning, but... In fact, all of this stuff, this is just like, this is just like the handlebars, but more. You know, like all this stuff comes out of breaking down cars. So that's not too difficult to get. This is just the major hurdle I've got. So if I'm one of those, we're pretty much laughing. How are we looking as well? We've got, we're ending with what? So 53,056 again. So we haven't actually made any money today at all. That's all right. We still don't have a lot of legwork. There's a lot of potential money in here, like a battery of cash. A lot of potential to make uh, money pretty quickly once I decide to sell all this garbage. Is there anything I'm missing? I don't think so. I've got all the money on me. I can go see Trady in the morning. In fact, in the morning, I have to go do the bear den, which sucks. I hate doing the bear den, but it is what it is. Head down there, take this road. Hopefully, there's no uh, random dead ends in that little, uh, the little fog over there. Go down there, buy the stuff I need. I still have no idea if I'm going to go to the auger or the steel, um, the steel pickaxe. I don't especially know. Like, when's the steel pickaxe going to come in handy? I like having steel tools to roll with most of the time, but I usually use the steel pickaxe when my auger breaks. Maybe I just buy both. No, I can't buy both. That's wasting money, Josh. Damn it. Yeah, look, I'm not entirely sure what, how I'm going to do with that. I'm hoping I'll just go to tradies tomorrow and it'll just come to me like in a fever dream. Oh, what's going to go turn to that quest up there as well? And there's the derpo I haven't gotten. Okay, so I might... For this... That's a couple of tradies all very close by to each other. That's actually a pretty good get, given how trader-intensive this challenge is going to be. So in the morning, bear den. Then I might just duck up north and go hand in that quest and see if it gives me another new one. But I have to go down here, 
see that trader and buy all the gubs he's offering me but i'll have to do that in the next episode because this episode is done so thank you guys for watching most of all thank you to the patrons of patreon who made this episode possible if you like to make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel follow me on twitter if i don't talk to you there first i'll see you in the next episode have a good one